Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be making a trio set customer order. So she ordered three different nail sets and the trio sets are always so do always do so well on my Instagram like for my reels. A lot of people really love them. So, I was like, you know what? It's time to post a trio set order tutorial on YouTube. So, we are starting off with our long square nail tips. These are from Enel Couture. They are the long sculptured square, but they are not super sculpted at all. Um and if you want them less sculpted, you can kind of squeeze them from the tips and flatten them out a little bit and they'll be just like normal nail tips. I have really flat nail beds and I wear them perfectly fine. Um, I also already buffed them out and I already applied my base coat and the base coat I use is the Beatles, um, Beatles base gel. And for this set, we're starting off with number 19 from Nails Bling Supply and I'm going ahead and applying one coat to all of the nails so we are doing three different sets and they are all going to be uh kind of pretty different so i'm really excited for you guys to see the end result of what they end up looking like because they are absolutely gorgeous now i'm going to be taking this color called apricot nude and this is actually from this brand called uh rajism on amazon i talk about them a lot but i really like their nudes they're like nude gels and um yeah so i'm going ahead and just putting one coat of that on there this just lightens up the base really nice and something i wanted to say is i always try to make the nails the same exact shade of base nude as it is in the photo so right here i'm going to insert the inspo picture for this specific set just so you guys can see what i was working with and why i chose the colors that i did So this is the inspo picture and shout out to this nail artist. So I didn't know if that is like a cool toned nude. It looked really cool toned in the photo. It might have just been the lighting because she took it in the shade. But I wanted it to kind of just have, I wanted it to have the same effect. So I'm going in with this color from Rajism again. Except, except this color is number 428 and this is a very cool toned very very sheer almost purplish brown looking nude gel it is very amazing as a topper like how i'm using it here when you put it on top of another nail set but for sure this one is one of those that you won't be able to use on its own unless you have so so many coats it's very sheer but i just love it because it adds that extra different type of undertone on top of the other new gel polishes that you can use underneath so i hope that makes sense but that's what i love to do with my gels you guys know i love to layer and i always layer to make exactly the color i need and make it perfect so yeah I'm doing that and then I'm going in with my French tips now and every single nail is going to have a French tip except the ring finger as you guys saw from the inspo it, they, it has like little pearl mickey heads on the ring finger and those are super easy to do so I'm really I was really excited to try this out um and of course doing French tip I just uh pretty much wing it now but the method I always used to do right before this that helped me get to this where I could wing it on its own was the A method. So you do two lines going straight up and then a line straight across the middle like an A going up the nail. And then connect all the lines with the smile line and it makes like the perfect French nail. Um, so that's a really easy method to do. And that just really helped me out. And the white gel polish that I'm using is from... I think it's from this brand from Amazon, but I will put it in the description for you guys. I almost use like so many gels from Amazon because I need them to be easily accessible so that if I run out last minute, because you guys, something about me is I'm very, very, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I don't know what the word is for it, but I don't pay attention to things until like last minute and I forget about things a lot, like a lot, you guys, I forget about things and I am very, very, I'm a really, 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 really big procrastinator, which I absolutely hate about myself. That's like one thing that I hate. I wish I wasn't a procrastinator. I wish I did everything right when I had to do it. But um, my point is basically that I always run out of my gels and then I forget that I need them and then I go back to try to order it and it's too late and shipping is going to take too long and I need to get the nails out like now because I took too long to like wait to make them or stuff goes on in my life and I just don't have time. And um, so basically my point is I just need easily accessible gels. So Amazon is literally my go-to. That's why I always talk about the ones from Amazon. The companies don't even know I exist, but I love their gels. So yeah, anyways, I just wanted to say that. And um, yeah, so we're just doing the French tips on all the fingers here.
And now after doing that, I'm going ahead and top coating them all after they're fully cured because now the set is pretty much done. All it has is that ring finger design. So this was a super easy one. And yeah, I'm just going ahead and, you know, doing this and... I don't mean super easy in the fact that it's like easy to do. I just mean easy in the fact that it doesn't have so many colors and designs and things like that. So now I'm going in with my Zule's Bling Adhesive. And this is like the best glue ever that you can possibly use for your gems, rhinestones, anything you use. I've been using it since literally I started doing nails. So it's literally the best of the best. It's always been consistently good. The only thing is the bottle gets like that, which is super crusty and annoying, but it's still worth it to just keep purchasing it because your rhinestones will not fall off. So I just go ahead and grab, I'm going ahead and grabbing these little pearls and I'm making the Mickey head shape. So you're going to want to use a bigger one in the middle and then two of the smaller ones on the sides. Mine are all mixed up. I don't have my sizes like organized by shape like by size i don't know if these ever come like that like organized by size if they did i would totally buy them but i always see them just in mixed packs so that's what i get and um yeah it was kind of frustrating i kind of had to look for like the sizes and make sure they were the exact size i needed but i went ahead and made a few mickey heads on each um a few of them on my table just because i didn't know how many i was going to need exactly and now i'm grabbing my zule's adhesive you want to make sure you apply enough but for these little things don't don't expect to wipe these off with acetone at the end like uh, the little chrome color whatever it is on top comes off it's not it's like totally sucks and you have to top coat over it so um yeah just try not to get the glue on top of the pearls is what I'm trying to say so yeah just do that and then um I'm just going ahead and putting I think three of them on each ring finger but I'm not showing each hand because I feel like it's not so necessary and I don't want to have this video be too long for you guys I want it to be like you know reasonably length so like I wanted to be like a good length so um I just show you guys one hand of each set of what I made and at the end I will show you guys all of the nails together so I yeah I just wanted to tell you that And that already leads us to our next nail set. This is um, the next one that we're going to be doing. This is NB19 from Nails Blink Supply. I'm going in with this color and I don't remember how many coats I'm going to be using. I'm just going to watch and tell you guys as I go. But I am using this color again. This is like one of my go-tos. As you can see, I use it all the time um, because it's just really a really good universal color. It looks good on everybody. And I am going to be going in with two coats of this color, actually. So, yeah, this is the second coat right here. And now I'm going to show you guys the inspo for this one. It's this set right here. And it is the exact same nail tech, I believe. Yeah, I think my customer really likes her work. So she chose another one from her. So I'm going ahead and doing the white French tip in the middle. And I'm just going to be doing the same French tip I do on all my other ones. But just only on this finger because the other French tips are going to be yellow. So yeah, we're just doing the white one here. Next, I'm going to be painting the little flowers. So the key to this is to have extra product on the tip of your brush so that you can make a petal. And also make sure you keep the distance in between the petals so that they don't bleed into each other. Because if they do that, it's just going to look like a big blob. And I hate when that happens. I always end up removing it if that happens to me. So yeah, I'm going ahead and just making sure I have the space and making sure I have a little extra gel on my brush so that the petals are nice and not too thin you know what i mean uh i think if you're creating like a different type of flower you can have the petals super thin but for this specific one i wanted it to look like the picture so i was trying my best to get it these type of flowers fun fact used to be super 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 hard for me to do i don't know why maybe i was using the wrong type of brush but make sure you're using a brush that's a little bit longer i recommend a 10 or 15 millimeter brush those are, are both perfect um i think 10 millimeters is like the perfect one though so yeah just to have an idea of what type of length brush you want to use don't use a super short one or you could use a super short one for this design specifically but for french tips and everything like that that i always do it's this brush that i'm always using and this is a 10 millimeter so in case you guys were wondering i get a lot of questions all the time about that so that's why i always like to bring it up and yeah we were just doing the flowers on the pointer and ring and then i'm going ahead with the yellow and i'm going to be doing that french tip on the pinky and the thumb and for the yellow i just went ahead and mixed colors to get the color i wanted i actually don't have a yellow gel polish which is absolutely crazy i know like i have yellow like neon and other types of yellows but i don't have pastel yellow 
any type of pastel yellow uh, gel polishes so I went ahead and made my own I just did white gel polish a little bit of a yellow a bright yellow that I had and also just a little tiny dot of orange the orange just makes it more of a warmer tone instead of it being so cool sometimes when the yellow is so cool toned it can come off a little green and personally I don't want it I didn't want it to look like that I wanted it to look way more warm so I added just a dot of orange into the color um into the mix of colors and yeah so now i'm going to be doing this little yellow line around the flowers as you can see it's just what was in the inspo picture so yeah i just did that and um again i was just talking about like the colors i really really love like color theory and mixing colors together i have a really good eye for looking at a color and being able to tell what undertone it needs to look or what color i need to add to make it the perfect shade you know what i mean i followed this uh person on tiktok a long time ago i it was on one of my old uh, tiktok accounts and he used to like get like he used to have like like a paint palette and he would go to natural items outside like trees water the sky and try to mix colors to get the perfect shade that matches nature and i absolutely love that because i would look at his videos and while i was watching it i would be like no you need a little red you need a little yellow you need a little magenta like i already knew what he was gonna use before i even saw him do it and of course like it was crazy because I was just always shocked that I was right. So anyways, I just always love like mixing colors. That's like my point. But now I'm going to use the same yellow that I added into the mixture that I was talking about. And I'm just doing the little center part right here of the flower. And I'm just doing that really quick. And then uh, I just used the dotting tool for that. It makes it super easy. And now I'm going to top coat after everything is fully cured. And I'm using my Beatles gel top coat as always. It's my fave. And I'm just going to be top coating every single nail. And then the set is done. So now we had to run it back to this nail really quick. I had to go ahead and top coat over these pearls. At this point, the glue is already fully dried from this set because I made this set first. You want to make sure that if you're using the Zule's glue, if you're going to top coat over anything with that glue, you want to make sure it's fully, fully dry. You don't want that Zule glue to get on your gel polish brush. It's going to make it super hard and super hard to use and it'll dry on there. Um, and that's happened to me before. So yeah, I just wanted to say that. And in total to do all these sets, these ones, these first two took a little under 40 minutes each one. The first one took probably 30 minutes. The second one took like 40 or yeah like 40 minutes and then the last one is the one that took the longest in total for all sets it took me about under a little under three hours or three hours to make them all and it's because this last one took me the longest so i'm using this color from rajism again you guys know i love these gels and i'm just going ahead and i'm applying this to all of the nails and this is just going to be my base color and then I'm applying one other color on top just to give it a little more of a warmer undertone. I love doing that like I mentioned last time. This color that I'm applying on top is I believe this is um, NB21 from Nails Blink Supply. And I'm just applying a thin layer to make the nails not so cool toned. I just want it to be a little warmer so that it's not just the one color that I had first. And now I'm going to be doing an ombre on every single nail. This is why this one took so long it's because it's an ombre on every nail and they're different colors so this one's going to take way longer because i have to clean my sponge in between and i had to cut out so much from the set the set definitely took me a really long time so i'm starting off with this bright orange color and then i'm going to be ombreing it on the sponge with the uh color that i used last i actually think it was nb19 again so nb19 i'm just going to be kind of ombreing it on the sponge first this part is slowed down so you guys can see what i'm doing you're just going to want to do a layer and it's going to look like nothing's coming out on the nail. Like when you sponge it on, it's going to look like nothing's there, but still go in and flash cure it. It's going to kind of have a grit. It's going to have a little stickiness for the rest of the layers to be able to stick to. And then you'll end up seeing the color payoff coming just in a few layers. So I hope that makes sense. But um, I, I am really flash curing in between each layer. You can see as soon as I put it in, I take it out. As soon as I put it in, I take it out. So like I'm flash cur curing and creating both nails at the same time or both sets. This is the only um, set that I'm showing you guys both hands because I was making both ombres on both hands at the same time. And it was just too hard for me to cut cut out one hand from the video you know what i mean so now i'm just going ahead and i cleaned my sponge and now i'm going to be going in with the yellow good thing i had some yellow left over from the little flower nails i just did so i just went ahead and used that same yellow and i'm going ahead and just sponging it on here i'm grabbing it from the table that's why you don't see me applying it on the sponge like i did with the orange because the yellow was already mixed in on my table because i custom mixed it earlier 
so now i'm just sponging it on as you can see now the color payoff is pretty good and now we're going to be doing a mint color i'm using the sp same sponge for all of them i'm not going to waste sponges all you need to do is make sure you're cleaning them kind of good in between but also you guys it doesn't even matter you're not going to be able to see the colors underneath like this color this sponge already had orange and yellow on it and you can't even tell when i'm applying it with the teal or tur turquoise color so don't even worry about that um and yeah i'm just doing that on the sponge literally i'm going so fast trying to get the set done as fast as possible because this set this type of set like an ombre can take you so so long you just have to learn how to like kind of manage it well and just super flash cure in between that's like the biggest tip i could give you guys and i get a lot of questions about people asking me if i get bubbles when i do this and i don't so i'm gonna be putting the sponges i use in the description box i think it has to do with the sponges because the sponges will cause bubbles you know what i mean so definitely um you know try to get the sponges i use because i feel like they work pretty good and yeah so i'm just waiting until i get the color payoff that i want but it is supposed to look kind of pastel so i'm not trying to make it super opaque to the point where the colors are super bright you know what i mean so i'm just trying to do that and i'm sorry if i keep saying you know what i mean i just feel like sometimes i talk too fast or people don't understand what i'm saying so i try to say it as best as i could in my like as best as it sounds to me And then at this point now we are doing the the purple i was gonna say orange the purple on the thumb this was the last color i had to do and this is the best color to end with because this color is more opaque so you definitely won't be able to see the colors that i had on, on the sponge underneath and that's the purple that i'm using that's the blue that i used and yeah so i'm just blending it on the sponge once again and then going in and sponging it on the nail and this color, because it's a little more opaque, was a little easier to ombre because I didn't have to do so, 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 so many layers like the other nails. And it was kind of showing up a little faster. As you can see right there, I'm already on my second or third and it's already showing up really nicely. So I love this color. And the best colors to ombre with are Nail Reserve Gel Polishes. They're so perfect to ombre with. I literally use them for all my ombres. If I'm using colored ombres, I always use their gels because they're so good. They're the perfect pigment pigmentation, but they're not annoying to ombre with to wear like, I don't know, like it's like blotchy and stuff like that. So I really like these gels for sure. And I do have a code and it's in the description box if you guys are interested, but yeah. Now I'm going in and creating the little flowers, but these little flowers are going to be the same color that corresponds with the ombre color underneath. So we're doing the same type of flower that we did on the other nail before, on the other hand, or no, sorry, <laughs> on the other set before this. So the same little flowers, but they're going to be just in different parts on each nail. So you'll see what I mean by that. And yeah, I already explained how to do these little flowers, but i really love how this set ended up turning out it was so so pretty this purple nail is for sure my favorite like purple would never used to be one of my favorite colors but after doing nails it's slowly becoming like one of my favorites i love like lavender this type of color like lilac or i don't know what this color is or like more like periwinkle type of purples i love those so much
Now I had already cleaned up all my stuff so I had to really quickly just grab my white gel polish bottle and I'm creating the little center of the flowers with the white and I'm just doing it super quickly. You can't tell that I didn't use the dotting tool so it worked out pretty well. And yeah, so this is what they ended up looking like at the end. So I'm just doing the little middle and then after this we are going straight in with the top coat after I cure. And I am using the same top coat for all the nail sets. The same Beatles gel top coat. And then I'm so excited for you guys to see the finished result because it is one of my favorite trios ever. It's so perfect for spring. I actually did this one, I think, last month. So it was one of my favorites for sure. And the spring vibes were immaculate for sure. And then after I'm done with this and it's all cured, of course, I always go in and finish file and make the nail super nice and crisp. And here is the finished result. I'm showing you guys in order. So this is the first one. It looks so pretty. The second and then the third and then now of them all together. They turned out absolutely stunning. I am literally drooling over how beautiful this video is. Like they're so glossy, so perfect. And you guys, this customer is so amazing. She actually just ordered another trio set for me recently, like a few days ago. So I'm really excited to film her sets again because they are so pretty this time especially. And look at this, you guys. This is how they look on her and they are so cute like so freaking cute i am obsessed so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i really had a lot of fun making these nails and if you guys like the trio set videos let me know and i will upload more of those but i will see you guys in my next video thank you for watching bye